This is a training video of the non-midriatic auto fundus camera for the Baltimore City Glaucoma Screening Program organized by the Wilmer Eye Institute of Johns Hopkins University. Open and unlock the case. With two people, gently lift the camera from the case on opposite ends. Connect the power cord and USB port. Place the USB drive and barcode scanner in the USB port. Set up the table with hand sanitizer, alcohol wipes, and tissues. Attach the black drape to the camera using the Velcro. Turn on the camera and remove the lens cover. Hi, Ms. Tina Siena. My Hi. name's Chris, nice to meet you. Thank you for coming to our screen today. You can have a seat if you take your glasses off for me. I'm gonna clean this machine off. We're gonna be taking some pictures of your eye. Thank you. And let me dry this off for you. All right, at this booth, I'm gonna be taking some photos of the inside of your eye. The test is fairly quick and should not be difficult. Before I start, I just need to input your data into the system. You're gonna place your chin to the chin rest and your forehead all the way against the top. And I'm gonna make some adjustments to your chair and chin rest for height. I'm gonna put this drape over the back of your head just so we can get some better quality images. Please let me know if that's uncomfortable for you. No, it's fine, thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this camera in closer and focus. I just want you to focus on the green light. You're going to see a bright flash. Wonderful, I'm gonna switch eyes. Close your eye for a moment. Good, open, nice and wide. Focus again on the green light. There you go. Here comes the bright flash again. All right, I'm gonna take this drape off and I'm gonna take a look at your photos to see if we can get and move you on to the next station. Thank you. Okay, left eye looks normal. And the right eye looks normal. Wonderful, your pictures look good. I'm gonna get you onto the next station. Uh, thank you very much for coming in. It was nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Do have a nice day. Make sure you have saved all pictures on the USB drive with subject IDs before deleting the pictures on the machine at the end of the day. Take out the USB stick and replace the lens cap. Disconnect all of the cords and store them in the containers. Place the power cord at the bottom of the box. When storing the camera, the chin rest goes on the side labeled for it. Put the top on the case and make sure it is locked. Chair is too high or too low for the machine. Instruct the patient you will either lower or raise the chair if it is adjustable and can be done. Otherwise, ask the patient if they would mind switching chairs to create the optimal height for the machine. Patient doesn't press head firmly against the chin rest or headrest so the camera cannot adjust appropriately. Instruct the patient to make sure their chin is firmly placed on the chin rest and their forehead is all the way pressed against the bar. Patient cannot open their eye wide enough or hold their eye open long enough. Tell the patient they are welcome to blink as much as they want until you instruct them to keep their eyes open. Then ask them to hold it open as wide as they can so you can take a picture. In some cases, a patient may be open to having someone assist by holding their eyelids. Patient feels uncomfortable because of the cloth over their head. Explain to the patient the reason behind the cloth is to get a good picture and it will take less than a minute. Patient has difficulty focusing. Instruct the patient to look directly at the green light with both eyes. If the camera still will not take the picture, ask for help. Patient cannot sit still. Instruct the patient to steady themselves on the table and press their head firmly against the headrest. Explain that if they are moving, the camera cannot focus 
and get a good picture. Patient gets irritated with multiple attempts. Apologize for the delay, but explain the issue to the patient. Ask them again if they want to take a break before you try again. Patient gets shocked by the flash. Lower the flash setting if you can while still getting a good picture and tell the patient you will warn them before it flashes again. Patient is misaligned and looking sideways. Ask the patient to take their chin off the chin rest and completely reposition the head.